Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new video of my, well, not, I was about to say score cut run rotation, of my road to road where we try to get to the top of the game possible, and road to 100 goals where we try to get this man, Victor Barbo, to 100 goals. Now, little story, quick story, I already did this beginning, this episode has actually already been completed, but I realised either the processing got mucked up and my audio wasn't included, or I simply didn't turn my microphone on. Unfortunately, it was most likely the second one. So I actually know the results, but we have got a brand new team, 352. I could have kept the same team, but I wanted to make another team that you guys chose, but pretty much. Signed Dear Keating, I sold Cliche, Danlino, no, Danio, so something like that. Got Pogba, Vidal, El Shirari, Ben Arthur, got um, Kosu, Ibarbo and Remy in the side so that's all you need to know for that team and that team costs around 20k and then here we got Julius Cesar, David Luiz, John Jesus, um, Mike Horn, I can't believe I forgot his name, Marcelo Ramirez, Guarin, De Rossi, Cuadrado, Ibarbo and Willian and this is a team that actually one of you guys created and I said this already because I actually didn't prepare this I will actually say the person of the name who gave me <coughs> this team to do. So big shout out to that guy when I name him in the video. But sold a lot of players. I kept like Muriel, Edison and Croissant. But I sold a lot of players like Kialini. And sorry about that. Wanted to itch my nose slightly and scrape my mic. And then yeah, selling a few players here. So we still got a good amount of coins left. But I think that's enough of me talking. So let's get into the games which... If you look at my record, you can probably work out from the last episode what the results are, but hopefully you don't pay too much attention to that, so into the games. And in the games we go, and again we are in the cut competition, using the team created by Andreas, I think, or Andreas, or some something like that. Yeah. No, I think it's Andreas. I think it's Andreas. So thank you for giving me the squad. It, when I looked at it, I was like, yeah, I've got to use this squad. It looks pretty damn good because it didn't seem to have any weaknesses. Maybe Mycon and I would have liked to replace. But even so, I want to test him out. And this guy gets insanely lucky. So it had a mixture of players who were like, yeah, this squad's going to be very good. A good mixture of defensive and balance and pace. All of that kind of stuff. So I really like the squad. And obviously, e any support given on any of my videos is obviously greatly appreciated not just um the road to 100 videos which go down very well actually because they get they get likes they get people commenting saying they like the series same with my challenge video same with my player predictions obviously player predictions you always get the ones that dislike just because it's a very controversial topic and we actually scored to get one back and william gets a bit lucky there with the goal. I'm going to move my mic slightly. There we go. So yeah, any support on any of my series um, as a FIFA viewer is muchly appreciated and thank you for that. But it, currently it's 2-1 and I'm struggling to talk in this commentary. What's wrong with me? But Eto on the ball. I do a rash clearance to be honest. My fault. He actually does a brilliant ball there and yeah, you could tell I was very hesitant because A, I did a rash um, pass clearance and B, the actual square clearance wasn't powerful enough. So I would say overall, he did a brilliant through ball, which was world class, so fair play on him. I could have cleared the ball twice and he got a bit lucky when I did clear it that it went straight to him. But more things can be done to improve your game and make sure the opposition doesn't get the goal so you've always got a view on that and this like these the two games in this episode were quite laggy but victor Barbo gets goal number 95 oh yeah the title of this episode it doesn't even matter because you know what happens we win 3-2 pretty good victory actually gets us into the semi-final but it doesn't even matter because we have been sent Back. Back. I'm trying to time it here. Back to the main menu. There we go. Back to the main menu. So it didn't even matter if we won or lost, which was very annoying. Which means the goal counter 
says Obabu is still on 93, but he's on 95. So now I can say I've had two disconnections, which means we're on 95. And so I'll say, oh, the first ever, da da da. But this guy, I actually didn't view what team he had, so I didn't know it was actually this good. And I was a bit confused because of Chamberlain and that. But this guy, it was interesting because it was raining, which... It's at my stadium, so the next episode, I'm going to change the stadium because I'm sick of it. But, hits the crossbar there. It was raining, which didn't help me at all because I, out of most players, I hate playing in the rain more than most. And also, it was a tiny bit of lag, so I couldn't feel I could move the ball fast enough and all of that. And also, this guy just kept going to the side of the keeper, so I couldn't even do anything if I wanted to. It was just... Very, very annoying because the keeper doesn't react when you go down the middle. It's quite, quite unfortunate. But it's a tactic, so you can't really complain too much. But he does win on a penalty shootout, unfortunately, for me. But that is the end of the video. So if you have enjoyed it, hit like button, say why and comment below. And do subscribe if you want to see more FIFA 14 content. And, again, it doesn't even matter because you can probably guess what happens. Yeah, it's been Woody Mark here. See you guys.